How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to everyone's favorite dummy murdering simulator, Happy Room. Today we're back out in the dungeon and we are going to be unlocking the final few weapons and I want to at least get one ality today. If you don't know, if you can fully kill a dummy with any type of weapon, you get a special kill cam. Uh, so hopefully today we can figure out one. Obviously one that we're really good with is the goblin, so we might want to try and do that. Uh, but we are going to need some more money before we can get that. we got to focus on getting these unlocks anyway. So we're going to start off by doing some quests. And what I got set up right now is the Arc Mage. 10 seconds of damage to a dummy from a magic wand. Now I have no idea if this will work, but we'll find out really quickly. 10 seconds is actually a long time, so I wanted to keep these spikes here to see if this is going to be... Wow. Uh, all right, so they drop down extremely quickly. Interesting. All right, so new plan. I didn't realize these magic wands wouldn't go for a full 10 seconds, so I spread them all out. So hopefully at least one shooting him at any given time. We got this one going to the left, these ones going to the right, and these ones going to the left. So we should be bouncing all around the map, and hopefully we should always have one on. So... There we go. It looks like this is going to be totally good. And yes, my assumption was correct. And there we go. An extra 190 bucks to my name. Wow, this actually might be a decent amount of damage. I didn't expect these things to do so much. We lost our head, so that was actually pretty damn good. 9,000 damage there. All right, this melee master sounds fun. We got to do damage with a bunch of obviously melee items. So I'm just going to go down the list, try and set this up, and we'll see if we can hit every one. So first of all... Pitchfork. We got to put that on the roof. That's going to stick us up there. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Because we have to do so many things connected together, I want to see... Actually, yeah, we're going to do it like this. And we'll put a jumper to the left in the middle. And then at the left side, we'll put a jumper that will push us up to the top. That will hopefully allow us to do the pitchfork. So first one done. Goblin next. That's easy. Goblins have a good range on them, so we'll throw a couple of these guys in there, and we should definitely get one of those. Saw Axe. Okay, Saw and Axe. This is where it's going to get interesting. We're going to have to hopefully get a little bit lucky. Uh, basically, what I'm hoping to happen is we'll drop off the pitchfork and be stuck down here. So if we have a couple saws around, we should hit that. Uh, we want this one to rotate this way. That way we're in that. Axe as well. Oh, the axe is bigger than I thought, so we'll just get rid of that, and we'll throw an axe. In the middle of there, once we pull these guys up a little bit. Mace, wheel, and guillotine. This is actually really, really aggressive. Um, Mace, wheel, and guillotine. We might have to move this around a little bit. Mace might be able to go in here as well, so we should... Let's just see what happens here when we do this. Got the goblin. Got the pitchfork. This should push us in here. Got that. So yeah, we, we hit everything at least. Now we gotta get the wheel and guillotine in here, which are two other big items. So I think the only one I'm going to have a major problem with is this giant wheel here, as you can see. We got everything else, I think, down. Um, I got to figure out kind of how I want to do this. Maybe I can just touch myself with it. That sounded wrong, but you get the idea when I fall. And then are we going to fall onto the jump pad, though? That's the question. Oh, that hurts a little bit. Come on, drop off. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we just got to get lucky and hit everything. What are we missing right now? Uh, I wish it told me what I missed. I don't know. I Yeah, I hit the saw. I hit this. So I must be missing something. Oh, the guillotine. That's right. I was going to upgrade it and attach it to the wall. So let's... Oh, I already did that. So I just didn't attach it to the wall. All right, guillotine. Ooh, this could work right here like so. So if we put that over there and then put this here like that, we'll kill two birds with one stone, get the pitchfork and the guillotine at the same time. All right, hopefully this works again. Goblins, wheel, that's good. Next up, moving over to the other side, hopefully. Oh, God, the goblins did weigh me down. I got that. Okay, uh, I don't, I'm actually, the only thing we need, I think, is the spike. We'll see if we can get lucky here and get the spike. This is a hard one just because of the amount of things we have to hit. All right, drop on it. Come on, hit that spike. Yes! What am I missing? What exactly am I freaking missing? Okay, I must have missed one again. Mace, wheel, guillotine, pitchfork, goblin, saw, act. Oh, I missed the hay. I totally forgot about the hay, but the hay is actually going to be pretty easy because we can put that wherever we want. So that's a, that's a new upgrade, and yes, it is indeed right here. So we can put that there like that. All right, we just got to get lucky and hit everything once again. I think this time we officially got it. Let's just speed up time here and drop down. Bam. There we go, drop down, and got it! Okay, that was a hard one, man. That was a real hard one, but it worked well. 
Cover a dummy in as many pricklers as possible. I think that means the hay. The hay, I haven't actually used much of, so let's figure out how this thing works. Now, we're going to want to spread this guy around. So what I'm thinking is we're going to put a teleport here, teleport down here, and then we're going to put a jump pad to the right over here. We'll put a couple of those on. We're just going to spend a little bit of money on movement around. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get rid of the uh, left and right ones because it kind of pushes us too far. I want to slowly go through these things, I think. So, yeah, we're going to do that like that. And then just go down the line here. There we go. We can fit that, that in there like that. All right. And we do have a little bit of a dead end over here. So, we'll just put one on the wall just in case we need to do that. Let's also, if we have enough upgrades, which we definitely do. May as well upgrade the hay for 100% more damage. Maybe this is a good item. I have no idea. I have not used it, like I said. So... Now we're going to try and fit as many of these on the map as possible. All right, I didn't do these rows perfectly. As you can see, I can't seem to fit most of them down there. But hey, that is a lot of hay. So let's see. Pierce a dummy. Oh, no. Cover a dummy in as many pricklers as possible. So yes, this is working. And I love this reference to a needle in a haystack. Gotta love it. All right, there we go. Maybe the portal was a bad idea, actually. We actually had good movement there. But we might be able to do this. Really wish, yeah, I've used some of the movable portals, but there we go. We did it anyways. And yeah, this is, oh man, this might be real good. If we can keep this going, come on, baby. Yeah, that's where I wanted to get. We got the Tesla coil. We got it. Okay, and I gotta say, I really like the hay, so we might try and do some more of that later. But let's play with the Tesla coil. Let's at least see what it's all about, so we'll throw that on. Oh, I actually... Wasn't this already in the game? Maybe I'm crazy, but obviously it's a Tesla coil, so if we get close to it, we're going to get electrocuted, and uh, that's always fun. Let's see the amount of damage this thing can output, though, so there we go, and oh, Jesus, I did not expect that. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it has four shots, and it does a lot of damage immediately. I thought it would be a beam over time, but no, it's just a big shot. Okay, I actually got it. Fully set up. So I've been having a little bit of a hard time with these quests. I thought we'd try and go and see if we can unlock this sheep or whatever it is. Now, obviously, the hay was a good answer before. We still got 1300 bucks, so that should be enough to get a bunch of jumpers here and do this once again. Now, I can also put them on the roof. I've upgraded my jumpers, but we'll see how many... Actually, yeah, we're going to be close for money here, so it'd be great if we had... A couple more grand, because I would like to put some stuff up top as well. I mean, obviously, I could put a wall of goblins up top, and that would be so much damage. But, yeah, I just don't have the money output right now, so the hay seems to work well, though. So we're going to continue with that. We'll put some of these on the walls here, too, just to try and push them around a little bit. Uh, do we want any on the roof? No. Let's just keep them on the walls. And that should be good. We got 73 bucks left to our name, so... Yeah, that's about as good as we're going to get. Now, we got to move around, though. That's the only thing. And it does look like these things kind of throw us around a little bit. So this works well. And, oh, my God, I love it. Needle in a haystack. Such a good idea. Now, we are going to start running out of jumpers, and that's what's getting scary. We got to get lucky here because sometimes we're going to hit a dead spot. But there we go. Come on, get that sheep. Yeah, get the other one. Fire dragon. Hell, yeah, fire dragon. Now, how close... I think once we get to the end of the bar, he is fully dead. You can see he's pretty much just a body at this point. Oh, he is actually just a body at this point. So we almost had the kill there. So that tells me, I mean, we could probably actually get it with this setup if we try a couple more times. Oh, come on, man. There we go. We're going to beat our record. We beat it. Come on, throw me the other way. I'm, I'm such a small target now. Oh, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Oh, man. Heyality. Okay, that feels good. We didn't even have a lot of money yet, so the fact that I got a Heyality tells me hay is pretty damn good. All right, and that gave us an extra $600, so that's exciting, but what's more exciting is, oh, we got not only one, but two different types of dragons. Okay, fire and ice. First of all, let's see the sheep. What the hell are you going to do, good sir? All right, so we'll drop a few of those. Okay, just explosive farting sheep. Got it. I like it. That's probably a lot of damage, actually. Now, I'm assuming ice dragons are for slowing. All right, so we'll throw one over there. And fire dragons are for damage, maybe. We'll find out real quick, though. So we'll throw some jumpers down. And we'll see how this dragon works. Gotta be honest, I'm kind of bummed he's inside of the wall. I thought we'd actually spawn a dragon. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll fly out of that hole. It's probably... Yeah, it's just its head. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Yeah, it does damage. It also totally freezes us. So, okay, that might be interesting. Let's give the uh, Fire Dragon a chance here. We'll throw... Actually, let's just throw both over here. I uh, know, because I want to see what the Fire Dragon does. Probably just a lot of damage. So, throw him down and... Well, nice mixture here. But, yeah, it seems like both are just heavy damage dealers. Oh, there, there, there goes a leg. Interesting. So, the upgrade for the Ice Dragon puts sharp icicles on the walls. But the Fire Dragon also sets the walls on fire. So, we're going to do that... Um, we also do the Tesla upgrade, I guess, just in case we want to do that. You know what? Goblins as well. I want to see if we can maybe get the Goblinality. I'm assuming that's what it's called anyways. But before I do that, let's actually spend a decent amount of money here and get a bunch of dragons. You know what? I'm going to do ice dragons right now. And, oh, man. I Oh, you can only spawn in two. So there's a limit on this. All right. So they're obviously really good damage dealers. Oh, I didn't realize I did two different ones, too. Ah, uh, there we go, though. Wow, that actually spreads so much fire and ice all around the map. So that's some added damage over time. So that is really, really cool. All right, let's try and get another Ality here if we can. I didn't upgrade my mines? Oh, man. All right, so yeah, I, I've been moving around all my upgrades. It looks like we still have enough to upgrade the mines just because I have enough money to throw a couple down. We may as well. Goblins still seem to do a lot of damage. Hay might even do more damage, so we might try those later, but we already got the Hayality, so maybe we can get the Goblinality now. There we go. Oh, yeah! Oh, dude, this is so cool. The dragons are badass. All right, come on. Bring me back to the fire one. Ice one's pretty much done. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We're actually not getting as much damage as I thought, but look at these icicles working their job, and there we go! That's what I'm talking about. Not even close to being dead, though. So, yeah, I think we gotta go back to the drawing board. It might take a while before we can actually get another Dragonality or Goblinality, if you will. Okay, so yeah, we still got a little bit of damage here. Oh, yeah, that's right. These things turn into mines at the end, too. Still, 12,000 damage. That's pretty decent. Let's go for a portal alley. Let's see if we have enough money to actually get to the end now. Now, I decided to try mines. Oh, God. Okay, get back down that hole. Yeah, perfect. Oh, come on, fall back down the hole. That would be amazing. Uh, yeah, safe to say we did a lot of damage. I think we might actually cut it close if we actually stayed in the portal. Once again, back at the drawing board, we had to drop the goblins down. I just don't have enough money right now, but this might go well. I've noticed that the magic wands do do a lot of damage. Look at this rave show that we got going on right now. Not sure if the dragons are worth it because they're... Their aura is not actually helping the damage right now, and I feel like they're lacking the amount of damage, but those those wizards actually seem to be doing really, really well. We still got goblins as well. Maybe we can turn the top dragons to more wizards, and I think we should be able to do a serious amount of damage. Mind you, these wizards are still going to last for a while. Yeah, this is going to be real close. Doesn't look like this is going to be a kill, though. All right, I think I'm on to something here. So I offset my portals ever so slightly, and uh, as you can see, we are consistently getting damage, but we're staying within the portal, and I think we might actually get a portality here. So yeah, I used goblins as well as the magic wands, and now we got to be getting pretty damn close. Yeah, we're about 2,000, well, 1,500 away from a kill. Uh, we just got to get lucky and stay in here, but yeah, this is how you want to set up the portal. I set this up perfectly because it just misses falling out, and it goes back in, and as you can see, gets hit for quite a bit of damage. So, I really like this setup. Hopefully, he'll stay in here until he's dead. All right, knock on wood, he has stayed in this whole time. He's on his last legs, well, actually, technically, last torso. Uh, and I think we're actually gonna freaking get it. I can't believe this actually worked. Just a little bit offset, just so he hits his head a little bit every time. Seems to be the way to do it. So, yeah, I think we pretty much got it here. Oh, sh I shouldn't say that. I mean, you never know when he's gonna pop out of this. But I feel like we're so damn close, I don't want to go back and check. Because it's gonna happen. Yeah, I guess it is right when the green bar gets at the end. So, there we go. And... Come on. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Just do it! There we go! Oh, that was a wall alley. Okay, so it doesn't consider it a portal because I'm getting damaged by hitting the wall. 
via falling. So yeah, I don't know if it's possible to get a portalality, but uh, I'll take a wallality. That's two kills in one episode. That feels pretty damn good. And that was the original setup, by the way, and it did quite a bit of damage. All right, guys, and on that, I think we're gonna wrap up this one here. A pretty good day. We unlocked all the weapons in the new dungeon update, as well as we got our first two kills. Gotta be honest, I didn't expect to uh, get a kill with a haystack as my first kill, but hey, I'll take it. So yeah, we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Happy Room. If you guys do wanna see more, let me know by hitting that like button and putting some comments down below on what you guys wanna see. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.